to the channel everybody today i have this cummins isx uh, 2012 i believe let me double check that so i give you the right information uh, yes it is a 2015 uh, the f means 15 uh, see zero three fourteen that's a 15 so uh the problem that we're having with this Cummins ISX is then we have a broken uh, a cylinder head and uh, I think the, the, the good question for you is like how to know when the cylinder head is broken that is uh, the reason why I'm doing this video to show you when to know where when the cylinder head is broken and uh, sadly uh, you can hear the engine sound you can hear how it's behaving but you cannot see it inside and that is the hard part how to know it uh, usually you want to hear uh, hissing sound coming from the exhaust area or from the intake area and misfiring engine is not running stable And uh, probably you want to have also other things like uh, a coolant consumption or pressure overflow in the uh, coolant tank. But in this case, to get to know how uh, the damage inside the cylinder head is, you have to remove everything. In this case, everything is open, the cylinder head, everything. So uh, we, we had to remove injectors. Uh, um, um, camshaft and all that to get to the internal uh, area of the combustion chamber and also it's very important to use machinery or tools in this case then is this endoscope tool uh, I've been using this endoscope tool for a while and this is pretty good to uh, know internal problems with the uh, with the cylinder head uh, but in combination with experience of, of your experience and the uh, tool you want to find out the problem but in this case we introduced this uh, endoscope tool inside the cylinder head um, in the uh, injector uh, orifice to find out the problem and once we get in there we can find that the cylinder head uh, has different cracks in different areas um, uh, these cracks uh, are going to happen eventually over the time with Cummins X15s, ISX, it's pretty common and uh, there is no way to repair these cracks I mean this problem in this case because the cylinder head is damaged uh, we cannot repair it, we cannot do any type of repair without removing the cylinder head the cylinder head has to, has to be removed in order to uh, fix this problem but this is a very common problem on Cummins uh, uh, ISX and ISX 15s. I mean ISX 15s, ISX and X15s. It's pretty, it's pretty common. It's pretty common, um, and uh, it's pretty expensive repair as well. Costs around like uh, uh, five thousand dollars for a cylinder head, depending where you buy it and depending the condition, how you buy it new, used, or rebuilt. Uh, everything varies. So. Uh, 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 and that is one of the important things to keep in mind whenever you are uh, uh, repairing your, your truck um, well I mean like uh, in this case a pretty easy way to know I mean like uh, once you but you have to work you have to remove different components and uh, and also the cylinder um, I mean the camshaft is damaged uh, that's the reason why we remove 
all the front area of the engine and the front cover is just like plates so that way nothing goes inside uh, uh, the uh, camshaft is damaged but the reason why the camshaft is damaged is because the cylinder ball in this case is pushing up is getting pushed up because of the cylinder head being cracked so the cylinder uh, ball on a specific cylinder is just pushing the camshaft and this is getting destroyed because of the amount of pressure that this one is receiving so of course we're gonna have damage too on the cylinder uh, cylinder head the uh, cylinder valve and the camshaft and uh, that's something that we need to fix um, but uh, the way it looks inside the cylinder the cylinder looks okay uh, we don't have any type of damage we don't have any type of scratch uh, on the cylinder walls and damage to the piston which means that this uh, could symbolize something good uh, we can reuse components uh, it, and uh, we can just remove the head and replace the head for a new one and that will pretty much solve the problem on this Cummins ISX um, uh, if you wonder uh, the mileage of this truck I don't know because I didn't take the mileage uh, when uh, we took apart the engine but uh, let me see uh, uh, let me see I mean uh, yeah I don't oh, do we do we oh yeah we have the mileage here okay sorry uh, nine uh, hundred thousand so uh, it's close to one million so it's about time to get that engine overhaul anyway but uh, this is a very common problem uh, with this uh, uh, Cummins ISX uh, engines and uh, we can uh, understand that this is not going to stop from happening this is going to continue happening uh, as years happen to be by with these uh, Cummins engines and they continue working over the streets over the roads with heavy loads especially when they're deleted the system applies a little more freedom to the uh, to the uh, combustion chamber a lot of pressure that is being produced there so that creates a lot of heat and the heat destroys the cylinder head in, as a consequence um, but uh, it is something that uh, we can understand and it's normal after use after many years of use on any engine so you have to destroy but uh, if you have a Cummins ISX in this case um, if you have a Cummins ISX and uh, you experience problems like you have hissing sounds from the left on the right of the engine and if you have uh, uh, problems like coolant consumption with not leaks at all um, and uh, you have problems like a high a overflow of the coolant tank you have to check the cylinder head your cylinder head is the first thing you have to check before you do anything and how you check it remember you have to use the endoscope camera the endoscope camera will help you to uh, 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 understand what is the cause of the problem so many many people in the past have commented on my uh, on my uh, live videos and regular videos about uh, the problem that they're experiencing with the Cummins ISX cons uh, consuming coolant and uh, overflowing and other problems like that and this is the way you're gonna find out so remember you have to have the tool and uh, once you get the tool you have to remove all these components uh, remove the top area which is the bulk cover remove the uh, injectors and then you're gonna be able to introduce the uh, endoscope camera inside the cylinder and there you're gonna find out on the top area of the cylinder walls that is what you're gonna focus the top area of the cylinder walls then you're gonna see small lines cracks or anything sometimes the crack is so large and you're gonna see water leaking but in this case because we don't have any type of cool and flowing to the system we don't have nothing but if you see any line in the cylinder head as you want as the one you can see right now that is a problem and that means that you need to uh, do an engine overhaul or at least um, do a cylinder head replacement on your Cummins ISX but that will be the solution to the problem um, I hope that this video is helpful for you and if you have any questions about this uh, you can always comment but uh, the point is pretty clear I will say that uh, if you have problems specific problems uh, with your cylinder uh, with, a, with your engine your Cummins ISX engine or X15 kind of the same 
uh, you have to double check these components, the cylinder head in this case. So if you already checked your cylinder head and you have no cracks and you're still losing coolant or uh, overflowing coolant somewhere, you have a different problem but make sure to double check the head pretty well and don't check just one cylinder in this case we have six cylinders so one two three four five six so don't uh, limit yourself on checking one cylinder and you see one cylinder that is in a good condition don't do that so continue on checking the other six or the other five depending on which one you what you want to check and then only then you're gonna know uh, if all the cylinders are okay and be sure that the piston is not all the way up has to be down so that way you can introduce the camera and be able to rotate the camera around to see the damage on the cylinder walls and anything else but this is about it so any questions comment below um, and um, I wanted to do a video about this anyway because people have been asking me about it uh, so that way you are up, um, updated on how slide to know when a Cummins X15 or ISX is, is, is presenting problems uh, with the cylinder head crack. All right, so uh, follow me on Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube. Uh, follow my new channel, uh, B Mechanic School, and thank you for watching.